annual tradition that seems to get bigger every year. The celebration surrounding the St. Baldrick's Foundation where volunteers shave their heads to raise money for childhood cancer research. Tonight, Fausto's Kevin Vizi visited a school in Bayport and found volunteers of all ages doing their part for that cause. He went in with full heads of hair, but came out looking like this. The cafeteria at James Wilson Young Middle School in Bayport was packed as students, teachers, and parents shaved their heads completely bald, all to raise money for childhood cancer research. It goes to the heart of what our community and what our school is all about in terms of giving back and thinking of others. The event is benefiting the St. Baldrick's Foundation, a charity that so far has raised more than $150 million nationwide. I'm here for the cause for the children with cancer. Uh, if they can do it, I can do it. Childhood cancer is a subject that hits home here in Bayport. Two students at the school have fought the disease, including 7th grader Marcos Daydon, who was diagnosed with bone cancer when he was just nine years old. Chemo, it, it was really hard. Um, the side effects make you very nauseous, so every day I would, I would uh, throw up and it was really hard. I lost my hair, which was very scary. But tonight, Marcos is in full remission and shaved his head along with his classmates to raise money and awareness. It feels really great that they don't care that if you don't have hair, they um, care for you and the person that you are. And just showing that they're shaving their head for us really means a lot. It's for a good cause. I've been doing it for the past three years. And it's if it's going towards cancer, then sign me up. I'm doing this. And if you'd like to get your head shaved for charity as well, like these brave guys, there are plenty more St. Baldrick's events happening across the island throughout the month of March. To find one near you, just head to stbaldricks.org. We're in Bayport. Kevin VC Fios, 1-2.